standing down there, it looks like it's flat, but it's not. You have to do this. This is the good life. camper and put her away. We're headed to Moab. The kids have fall break. They have a couple of few extra days off school. So we're driving out to Moab. But I was just explaining to the kids as we're driving through Glenwood, we are partaking in one of, well, I don't know, I've heard it's called one of the seven engineering wonders of the world. And that is the road through Glenwood Canyon. I-70. They had to essentially stack each side of the highway on top of each other. They're not perfectly vertical, but like, you know, cars going this way and this way are nearly stacked on each other. And at the time when it was made, it was a pretty momentous feat. You can see there's the guardrail there and you can't see the traffic going the other direction. It's because they're down below us. Another sad fact is there was a huge fire here in the Glenwood area this summer. And you can see it came all the way down here to I-70, all those black charred remains. It's pretty. It's a new year. Mom hit my butt. Mom hit my butt too. Ah. Here we are waking up. What do you think, Roxy? He said, Daddy rescued me one night. He put my bed out here instead of in my little crate so I didn't roast when the furnace was on. All right, let's go to the dog park. You ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Roxy, come here. Come on. Cutest doggy in the wide world with her shirt on, sitting like a woman's. <laughs> Is yours a woman? <laughs> Best dog in the world. It says camera pose for when you need a helping hand. We got a camera pose. The tripod. Although, do we put four thousand dollars worth of camera on there? <laughs> I don't know. Do we, Dad? Well, maybe we do. It's a pretty nice big top. Canyonlands. Today we're at Canyonlands National Park, and we're doing the Mesa Arch Trail, which is a little short, half mile or quarter mile hike. And we're doing it to scout because tomorrow morning at sunrise. I'm hoping we get the perfect opportunity to get an amazing landscape picture that we can hang up in our house to remember this first year of using the camper and getting out and exploring. What makes the arch so cool is that the sunrise peaks right through the middle of it over a big giant canyon. It says keep off arch, but I really wanted to walk on top of it. Oh man. That's sad. I guess we shouldn't even be here then. If we no. can't walk on it. No, it's still really cool. Cool. Okay. The view is amazing. Oh, I I can see why they say keep off arch now, right, Braxton? You don't want to fall off, right? Yeah, if you fall off. These kids are wearing some awesome hats. If you fall off, you're pretty much dead. <laughs> it's really cool. It's a big canyon. That is a big canyon. It's 2,585, 285 miles. So what's supposed to happen at sunrise is that underneath that arch just starts glowing. It glows like crazy. This morning Braxton and I got up early like we said we would. And we went out to where? Mesa Arch. We went to Mesa Arch. And I think we got the photo. Yeah. Actually we got a lot of photos and we got a great one. I know everyone's taken this picture before, but for us this was kind of special because we got some father-son time at Mesa Arch at 5 o'clock in the morning with nobody there. In fact, we just had to go there in our headlamps and listen to a podcast for an hour before anyone showed up. And about 200 people showed up, 
we had the best spot and we got the best photo for the morning at least. Uh -huh. Hey, we're not talking about that. Uh, she's saying I was rude. Just because um, I put a yeah, yeah, he was. Just he was. I put a tripod down, and that's not being rude. That's being a photographer. This is the shot. And here's a couple more that Braxton got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As you can see, he's pretty good. We have to find our sticker for the camper. Should we pick that one, guys? Yeah. That seems like the right fit. Get out of there. That's not okay. Where is he? Climbing in there trying Hi, to... what are you doing? Look what I got. <laughs> we visit enough national parks on our camping outings that we decided to get the National Park Passport Book. Yay! <laughs> We're nerds. Um, <laughs> but I just got it and gonna put our stamp in for... Canyonlands. Canyonlands National Park. And each national park we go to, we can get some stickers and oh. stamps. So I got you a Junior Ranger stamp and then our Canyonland stamp. Oh. Do you like that book? Stop. Yeah. It's got a map of all the national parks in the whole U.S. as well. You got our stamp? There we go. We got our Arches stamp. We made it to Arches National Park. <laughs> oh my God, guys. We I... are fixing to do delicate arch hike. Fixing. It's, it's very- He's texting if you can't tell. It's broke. It's, it's yeah, you don't very... fix it if it ain't broke. <laughs> it's very cool because, um, it, because every single one of these rock formations is natural. Guys, is this impressive or what? There's another one up here called Sheep Rock. I think it's that one. Look at the top. It looks like a sheep head and then it's yeah, back. It, it Do you see that? Then those are the three, three wise men. Three gossips. Like there's, no, no, they're the three wise men. So that's the sheep they are. Um, buddy, it's shepherds that have sheep, not wise men. <laughs> it's similar. Yeah, the shepherds and the wise men came to baby Jesus' birth, you know, close enough. So October is a great time to visit Arches National Park because it's not super hot out. However, <laughs> it's also not a great time to visit Arches National Park because... The crowds are insane. We're grumpy! It's too crowded. The traffic through Moab sucks. Like to get from one end of Tiny Moab to the other end of Tiny Moab, takes an hour and a half because there's so many cars and so many people and they're doing construction and it's down to one lane so it's literally like bumper to bumper traffic almost all day long i guess we should have gotten up earlier huh uh, early bird gets the worm ashley i hate mornings don't come i mean do come but don't come <laughs> in october because we might come back next year so don't come then so that there's less crowds okay thanks here we are at the trailhead to Delicate Arch. Oh, these are... Yeah, the little piles of rocks tell you where to go, right? Yeah. How are you guys doing? Climbing up. Little steep. Yeah, it is a little steep. Climbing up to Delicate Arch. Having fun yet here, at Braxton? No. This is the calm before the storm, the part before it gets hard. Um, right now, we're on like a mini hill. But supposedly there's two hills, Landscape Arch and, Del and Delicate Arch. They're actually misnamed. Landscape Arch was really supposed to be named Delicate Arch. And Delicate Arch was really supposed to be named Landscape Arch. And that's a little fun fact for you guys though. That is a good fun fact. We're getting to the steeper section. Whoa, look at that big bird. We brought some water because we're in desert. Wait, are you a mirage? I thought they said dessert when we were coming here. That's why I was all about it. Oh. You know how to tell the difference between the word desert and dessert, Harrison? One tastes better. Yeah. How? One tastes better. Mm -hmm. 
We found an arch, but I, this isn't the arch we're looking for. If you look up online, Delicate Arch is where you want to go at sunset, so that's what we're doing. We found it. It's really landscape arch, though. <laughs> we have made it to Delicate Arch. Might not look so big on camera, but it's very big. Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. It's a rock. So we have been on about 30 camping trips this summer and this is the grand finale for us. And this is pretty exciting. I came here about 17 years ago for the first time. And this is the first time for all of us to get to go do this together. It's kind of cool, I guess. Kind of crispy. Oh, stop it. Kind of. You kinda. said it was really cool. So a twelve, days. a twelve-year-old is gonna say kind of cool that you have to take that up about twenty notches. If it's kind of cool, that means it's really cool. Exactly. If it's boring, that means it's actually kind of cool. Harrison's chowing on some Fourth of July pop tarts because, well, we got those for the Fourth of July <laughs> and it's October, so you can tell how good they must have been if we still have them. But anything tastes good at the end of a hike, apparently. So he's eating them. I think we're gonna try to get a couple pictures and then we'll head back. It's about a mile and a half to the car. <laughs> You weren't that impressed? I mean, it's really cool, and I'm glad we did it, but, I mean, yeah, that doesn't compare to Rome. <laughs> what? People built Rome. This is more impressive. This was built by... Babe, I'm an architect. Wind? That was wind and God. Yeah. It's not as impressive that God can build it. He can do anything. For people to build some of the things they built in Rome... You know what you sound like? That's there's, impressive. There's this song, it's like, anything... You can do. No. I can do better. That's no. that's Ashley's mantra for life, I think. Oh, stop it. The hike back is mostly downhill. I have to look down where I'm going so I don't fall down. There's my eldest. Be Ah. So pretty out right now. Yeah. It's like ridiculous. So because Roxy can't go on the trails at Arches, we're gonna split up in groups of two, and this time I get Harrison. And we're going to which arch? Um, uh, Sand Dunes Arch. That's right. We're going to Sand Dunes Arch. We sat on the trail. This is Sand Dune Arch, but then over there is Broken Arch. There's a sign pointing to which way, so you won't get confused. One of the best things about Sand Dune Arch is that it's short, so anyone can do it. Even if you're disabled or a small kid. Uh oh, what are you doing, Harrison? I'm climbing this. Oh my. Look at all the sand. They don't call this sand dune arch for no reason, huh? Yeah. You keep going. I'm crawling because it's a lot easier than walking through the sand. Hey, it's right there. There it is. This is sand dune arch. It's very soft. Very soft. But then it opens up and you get this really cool arch here. And then there's all this sand out in front of it, lots of kids and families playing. It's pretty cool. This part's really steep to walk down, so I have to like slide down. Oh yeah, that's giving me a wedgie. <laughs> that's giving me a wedgie. Nothing like a good old sand dude wedgie. I think sand yeah. dune arch is the sandiest arch I've ever been to. This yeah. one is to where? Where are we going? Landscape arch. Landscape arch. And go here, up, landscape arch. And then we'll do a, maybe a detour, a tunnel arch on the way back. Dad's staying back with Roxy. She's in the truck and can't go on this hike. So yeah. here we go. Harrison and I were just walking along, talking. And all of a sudden I looked up and I was like, oh, 
There it is. Yeah, but it's straight ahead. Yeah. All right, Harrison's being the photographer here at Landscape Arch. Look how thin it is in that one part. I told the boys I'd pay them $10 to climb up this hill and barrel roll down it. Faster! Tuck your arms, go! Yes! Yes! Oh, watch your head! <laughs> we did a side trek down to Tunnel Arch. It's a little trail off the main trail. We were looking for it down here. There's this trail right here, right? There's a fence at the end. We were like, I don't see anything over there. Because we were looking down that way. And lo and behold, ta-da! It's over there. Huh, who would have thunk? Pretty easy hike, pretty flat. Couple little ups and downs along the way, but in general, good hike. Easy Yay. hike. Doesn't take too long. Re highly recommend. All right, here we are. KOA Moab swimming pool. Harrison's about to get in. It's a little bit cold. A little cold? I want to see you go down the stairs. Whoa! Oh, well, that's cold. That is cold. Are you sure? You can't touch too good there, can you? That's the cold step, right? Braxton, you're not missing out. It's freezing. But it's beautiful. Look at 360 degree turn. Ready? Of all the beauty around us. My beauty! Yay! Oh. <laughs> I think it's called Dead Horse. It's right here. Look it. Dead Horse Point State Park. Okay. And we are at Dead Horse Point Overlook. Right where the smiley face is. The cowboys used to corral all the wild horses on this point. And then they'd pick the ones that they wanted to keep, the strong ones, and then leave the rest to die. That's why it's called Dead Horse Point State Park. They put up like a temporary fence of brush and stuff because it's real narrow over there to get here. And that makes me sad. One of the nice things about Dead Horse Point State Park is that you can have dogs and the dogs can go on the trails here. If you don't know this, in national parks like Arches and Canyonlands that are right next to here, you can't take your dogs. So the dog has to stay back at the campground and the rig and air conditioning or Yesterday we left Roxy at a like a doggy daycare, so and it was good, but it's also nice to have your whole family together, and Roxy's part of our family. So here we are, we're almost to the overlook. Oh my goodness! Wow! Oh look at that! Look at the river. This looks insane. It's like seeing the Grand Canyon in Utah. The Colorado River, it it like dug underground over time. So you you notice how high it was, but it used to be as high as as high as we are, which I think it's crazy. So that's what created all of that all of that little canyon. Canyon. The Colorado River. That's a little fun fact. <laughs> What'd you guys find down here? We found a little rock cave cliff ledge thing to sit later. Cliff. This is where the horses that would be hiding out would be. Yeah, they were smart horses. They'd still die. They didn't have any water. They could eat the other horses. We found a wetail, uh, a western wetail. Wetail? Wetail? <laughs> Whiptail? Western wetail lizard. We found one. Roxy found it. Where? Yeah. Here, I'm, I'm gonna try to catch it with my hat. There he goes. Roxy, sit. Yeah. Wanna go get him? <laughs> wow. What just happened? I tried to catch him. Did you almost have him? Almost. <laughs> so close. This is the, the western whiptail. I was so close, but, but he just ran Roxy. away. Find what state we're in. Oh, that was faster than I thought. Again, Utah up on the map. New state. Yay! Oh, 
like it very good. Oh well. That's fine. How many? We have Colorado, Wyoming, South. Um, I mean, Sodak, not South Dakota. No, it's Nebraska, it's and now Utah. Which one should we try for next? Uh, Nevada and California. Yeah. We could take the yeah. airplane there. We go to Yosemite. We are at the Moab Kway, and and we might have gone a little crazy with the stickers. As you can see, we have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five stickers. We we're only supposed to get the campground. So, this first one, we have Canyonlands National Park. We have the Moab. Just general, that's what we got here. Yeah, just Moab. Dead Horse Point State Park. And then we have Arches National Park, which we went to. And we actually did see that arch. It was the first thing we ever did here. And then this last one is just Colorado River. So we stayed at a campground on the trip out here. It was like, it's like three hours away from our house. And then we drove another three hours here. We got stuck in some bad traffic though. There is our summer to remember 2020. This is the good life. What a cool summer.